What up YouTube, this is Collector's Dream coming to another video. Hope you enjoying your day, your morning, your night, or whenever you're watching the video. This is going to be a quick video showcasing my 164 Batman cars. And I know you're thinking, what the hell Collector's Dream, you should have way more different reactions than this. But remember guys, I only collect movie themed cars and I try and stick away from all the different variations for cartoons because there's just a lot of them. I mean, if I was to collect the animated cartoons ones, I'd probably have to have like 30, 40 different variations and so yeah. Um, so let's get in it. We have a the original Adam West Batmobile from the 1960s. This is by Corgi. This car isn't made in the 1960s. I believe it's made in the early 80s. Uh, it has the cool thing about the Corgis and old school old school die casting is that they used to come with a little little action figurine. I can't say it's action figurines. Little, I guess little Batman. You get little Batman in the in the driver's side. So that's pretty cool. Um, next up, we have the re-released version of the Hot Wheels Batmobile, the Adam West one as well. And as you guys can see, this it, the the new one. It has a much longer um, front than the original. So yeah, I'm just kind of noticing that the Corgi rolls much, much, much smoother than the Hot Wheels. Next up, we have a promotional Joker van uh, with with all its original stickers. This is another uh, Corgi one. Um, I'm, I'm guessing this is just for promotional purposes. I doubt that it wasn't a cartoon, but then knowing again how crazy Joker was, and he might have actually put uh, his sticker, his face and the name Joker on vans so not, people know that he's coming for them. Um, but I don't know. And it's, and it's supposed to be an ambulance. So this was an ambulance car because they have a different variation of it with ambulance stickers on it. And I believe the model, I doesn't say the model. Um, but yeah, so the model was Reynolds, but it might not be. Now, uh, look, here we come. This is my third favorite Batman, Batmobile car. Just heads up, the Adam West one is my second favorite Batmobile car. And you're about to see my favorite Batmobile car of all, easily by hands down. I think it's ball over the park with this kind of question. Um, this is pretty cool from the animated TV show, I think from 92 to 95. This is made in 90. 95 or 92 um, I love the I love how long it is and it's the it's really smooth as well really nice got really nice tires on it really nice flow when you kind of drive it I guess and obviously has painted little headlights has the Batman logo has the exhaust like the like the one from the film so yeah it's pretty cool and like it kind of looks very like wind resistant. Uh, we have another promotional little video, I'm not video, little promotional car from um, I think Batman and Robin, if the Jim Carrey was in that film, the Riddler. Um, this one's made by Hasbro. Uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't think it was neither in the film or the, or the TV show, but look, it is it is the Riddler car, so you can't if you you ought to have a Batman collection, you have to have it. Next up, we're gonna skip this one because it's part of this one. We have the Batmobile from Batman Returns, the Michael Keaton, and this is my favorite Batmobile car. I, and I think I'm not the only one. I think a lot of people really love it, especially look like, look at the amount of effort that was got into take, put an in effort into making this car. I'm not talking about the hot, the die casting, but the actual design, the concept of it for the film. I think it's brilliant. Um, it has the opening canopy, if I can do it. Oh, there we go. So you can have a look inside. It's got the little chairs. And the detail of this casting is really surprisingly really great. Um, painted headlights and taillights. You have the exhaust, which is metal. The whole body is metal, actually, if you really want to go into it. Oh, apart from the canopy, which is glass. And it is a Hot Wheels. I'm guessing this would have been like a... It's got real tires in it as well. I'm guessing this would have been a late 90s release. Maybe early 2000s. From Hot Wheels. Um, maybe it was actually released when the film was released. So maybe 90, 90, 92, 93. For promotional purposes. But it's brilliant. And we have the Bat Missile. Which is uh, the centerpiece of this car. So obviously if you guys haven't seen the film... Uh, the same thing that happens in Dark Knight when the that tumbler goes into a bike. This one separates, and you have, and this comes out, which is the bat missile, and it's pretty cool. I actually like the design of the bat missile and the bat and this Batmobile car better than the tumbler and the bike. Um, it has the exhaust, which is kind of on 
because of the red, the red little paint there. So it's supposed to be fine. It's got moving wheels. Unfortunately, the uh, the tractions do not move along with the wheels, but uh, it's a really cool car nonetheless. So next up, we come to the to the bat tumbler. I feel it's too military, and I don't know. Um, I I like it. I liked it in the film, but as a casting, I don't think it's one of my favorites. Next to it, I'm gonna put up the the one from the games, from the Arkham games, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. And I think there's a new one, and it's very similar. It's the concepts are very similar to the, the two of them. They're very military, very heavy kind of looking design vehicles, which is why I really prefer this one, more elegant uh, design of a car. And we go to the bat. Um, I don't really come much say anything about the bat because well, it's a flying little bat kind of thing design of it. So look it's pretty cool. It's definitely worth to kind of put in your collection if you have if you have Batman cars or you collect Batman uh, memorabilia merchandise. Next up we have another Batman car which is I think it's I think it's in the it has a cartoon it's from a cartoon. It is very similar to the Batman Forever maybe Batman Robin kind of type of car but obviously this is a little bit expanded made bigger and I think he had three wings not just the one wing but it's still not a bad design on it. Uh, lastly, uh, this is just on it just to kind of like, I guess, because it was inspired by the Batmobile car um, with the huge wheels, which ends good. Pretty cool suspension on it. So, yeah, so that's a pretty cool Hot Wheels car as well. We have the two Bat bikes. So, we have the one from, I want to say this is from the film, but I really doubt it. So, I think this is from the, from the animated TV show. And it's good. Oh, it's got the wheels or the tires which you can kind of see which is pretty cool and then we have the bat car the bat bike from Batman the Dark Knight Rises from the third film with the guns um, and the cool thing about this one is though is that it kind of really looks like the, the it really does resemble the bike from the film and it's definitely worth for your collection. And I like how they started to expand the different variations of you, what you can get in Hot Wheels with the Batman. Because Batman is becoming a huge franchise. So guys, this is the end of my video. Um, unfortunately, it's gone a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video and liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions in regard to any of, any of the uh, castings that I showed you guys, feel free to write a comment. If you have any questions at all, feel free to write a comment. Otherwise, I will see you guys in another video. Thank you.